Now, the Indian Air Force choppers have been used to help put out the fire in South Delhi that started on Tuesday evening. The fire broke out in a rubber go-down in South Delhi's Malvanagar area on Tuesday, causing panic among locals. Uh, the fire is now under control. We believe officials say the fire began in a truck inside the rubber factory and then spread around 5 p.m. this morning. A Mi-17 helicopter of the Air Force was seen making sorties to pour water to contain a, what was classified the highest category blaze in the national capital in recent times and 80 fire engines were also brought to the spot. 13 buildings in the area have also been evacuated since last evening. I think that is usually a tailor-made response of anybody and everybody that I have got everything. I think such godown cannot be permitted in a residential place. I don't think any agency can give permits for running such place in a residential colony like this. I don't think he has got required fire uh, certificate by the agencies so I think it's it's just a very uh, rhetoric what they have doing they are been doing but uh, as a matter of fact there are a lot of illegal activities which are happening in this area we have been talking to the agencies instructing the agencies we have been writing to the agencies about similar fire accidents happening in this area we have been instructing them here in this letter this happened one and a half month back where the elected MCD councillor of my party, who is a local councillor here, wrote it to the agencies, wrote it to the DC of the South Delhi Municipal Corporation, wrote it to the Commissioner of Delhi Police. We have got their receiving letters with us, but there was no action, nothing was done, not even, you know, not even a reply from these agencies was, uh, was received by us. So uh, this is not a case of negligence, this is a case of connivance. Usually, you know, Delhi government will not uh, do any kind of a identification or a survey of such things. These things uh, come under the purview of South Delhi Municipal Corporation. But I think because it's a matter of connivance, I don't think MCD will have any record about any such activity in the area because they will always say, whenever such incident happens, they will always say, we never knew about it. Uh, actually, uh, there is a clear division of responsibilities in Delhi. There are few things which come under the central government, few things which come under Delhi government, few things which come directly and only in the municipal corporation of Delhi. 17 hours after the fire was reported at a police station near Malviya Nagar, right now there is still operations going on. We can see fire persons uh, using water to defuse the flames. Now, of course, we have been told that these are cooling operations, that the fire is actually under control and is expected to be put out entirely within the next few hours. However, this is what we had heard four hours ago as well. And as we can see, still a lot of smoke rising. It is worth noting that this is an entirely residential area within Malviya Nagar. The question we are raising here is why exactly permits for a go-down that is containing such flammable materials is there. Now, this is not a factory. This is a go-down. So this is where these rubber compounds were stored. The beginning of the fire, as we are being told by fire services, was by when a truck that was that contained plastic or metal boxes of these compounds caught fire now over here you can see uh, tin sheds tin roofs and residents from around the area are telling us that these sheds are what uh, actually contain which uh, this is where these compounds are actually stored so there is a good chance that there's a lot more material a lot more flammable material and fire service is saying that it's only when all of this material burns out completely that uh, this fire will go out. Now, of course, there is uh, the positive uh, news, if they can be found in this, is that there was a concentrated effort. 94 fire tenders have turned up at the location since yesterday. Police teams have been deployed uh, in the area for crowd control and to facilitate evacuation. Now, 13 buildings have been evacuated around the area and a school and a gym to make sure that no uh, fire casualties or injuries occur, no casualties and injuries have occurred. Police teams have also been deployed.